and helping people in need to dress for success. Stacey Delacat introduces us to the man behind 100 suits for 100 men. You want to wrap it around. Understand? Wrap it around. On a frigid winter day, Kevin Livingston was out on the corner of 125th and Lennox teaching men how to tie ties bring it around. and wear a suit. Let's see, so try this jacket on. Try this jacket on. 26 year old Kavon Marshall got a whole new look. Well, good. Whoa, good. I feel determined, like I can get a job now. I can go in a, I can go in an interview and get it. Look at this, y'all. Marshall served two years in prison and was released a year ago, but is still struggling to get back on his feet. I'm still homeless. It's been very hard. The nonprofit 100 Suits for 100 Men aims to help people just like him re-enter the workplace by giving them professional business attire, a haircut, and a major confidence boost. Your time will stand out. Community looks at you different. Police looks at you different. And you, more important, look at yourself different. Kevin Livingston started the group six years ago and now operates two boutiques at parole offices in Queens and Harlem and pop-up shops like this one throughout the year. I simply care. I care about the people. You know, saw people in my community ostracizing people who didn't look like, you know, they needed to be. They walk across the street from them versus engaging them. The suits and ties are donated largely by individuals, including some you might have heard of, like former 49ers quarterback turned activist Colin Kaepernick, who in May gave the group two dozen suits plus more than 30000 thousand dollars but plenty of regular new yorkers pitch in too like dread banson who heard about the event on facebook and came over with some suits one of them is quite new it's a tailored suit i thought you know it would look good on a young man that's you know trying to progress in life a young man like 34 year old keegan ambrose who walked away with a new attitude to go with his suit and tie i'm unemployed at the moment and you know i'm always looking for a job and to have a nice suit to the presentable is a god's blessing the organization is getting ready to open its third boutique location in downtown brooklyn next year and they plan to hold their next pop-up like this one in the Bronx in January. In Harlem, I'm Stacey Delacat, Fox 5 News.